The raging forest fires in central Portugal have killed at least 62 people, most of whom burned to death in their cars, and injured scores of others, the government said yesterday. Nearly 900 firefighters and 300 vehicles were dispatched late on Saturday to tackle the blaze, which broke out in the afternoon in the municipality of Pedro Gau Grande about 50 kilometers from Coimbra, before spreading fast across several fronts. Prime Minister Antonio Costa said firefighting crews were having difficulties in approaching the area because the fire was very intense. Unfortunately this seems to be the greatest tragedy we have seen in recent years in terms of forest fires, Mr. Costa said at the Civil Protection Headquarters near Lisbon the number of fatalities could still rise. The priority is to save those people who could still be in danger. The EU has said it would provide firefighting planes following a request from Lisbon. Portugal had a heat wave on Saturday, with temperatures exceeding 40 degrees Celsius in several regions. About 60 forest fires broke out across the country during the night, with about 1,700 firefighters battling to put them out. Interior Secretary Jorge Gomes said more than 30 people burned to death in their cars when they found themselves trapped by flames on the road between Figueiro dos Vinhos and Castanheira de Pera in the Rio region. Three others died from smoke inhalation in Figueiro dos Vinhos. The other bodies were found outside their cars or in the forest. At least 60 people were injured. The flames spread with great violence, moving out on four fronts, Mr. Gomes said. It is difficult to say if they were fleeing the flames or were taken by surprise. A huge wall of thick smoke and bright red flames towered over the top of trees near houses in the wooded region. A resident of Figueiro dos Vinhos, Isabel Brandau, said she had feared for her life. Yesterday we saw the fire but thought it was very far. I never thought it would come to this side, she said. At 3.30 a.m., my mother-in-law woke me up quickly and we never went to sleep again. We were afraid the fire would reach us. Spanish television showed images from Portugal of several people on a road trying to escape the intense smoke that had reduced visibility to a few meters. A lightning strike is believed to have sparked the blaze in the Pedro Gau Grande area after investigators found a tree hit during a dry thunderstorm, said head of the National Judicial. Dry thunderstorms are frequent when falling water evaporates before reaching the ground because of high temperatures. Several villages were affected by the main fire and evacuation procedures have been put in place for some of them. Portugal has declared three days of national mourning from yesterday. My thoughts are with the victims in Portugal, the EU Commission head Jean-Claude Juncker tweeted. I commend the bravery of the firefighters. The EU civil protection mechanism activated and will help. President Marcelo Rebelo went to the Ria region to meet families of the victims, sharing their pain in the name of all the Portuguese people. Firefighters did all they could when faced with the blaze, Mr. Rebelo said. Dozens of people who fled their homes were taken in by residents of the nearby municipality of Ansao. If you like this video, please remember to click the like and the share buttons. If you're new to the channel please remember to click on the subscribe button.